and welcome back to Las Vegas for the Gamma Trade Show 2016. I'm Eric Summerer here with Julie from Greenbrier Games, and I'm talking to you from behind a pile of Yashima. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's a lovely pile. Yes, tell us what Yashima is, and then tell us how it's changing in the near future. Absolutely. So, Yashima is a miniatures based combat game where your deck is everything. It's okay. you, what you do is you take a Kami master and a Kami, um, and you shuffle the decks to create your fighting deck. But it's not just your fighting deck. If you look at the cards, they tell you where you can be in location to your opponent to attack. Mm -hmm. uh, they tell you whether or not you can use your karma to have initiative in the turn or to spend it to cast spells in your tome, which turns just like a... Okay, like, like a spell book. Like a spell book. Yep. Um, it also tells you when you're attacking how much you can attack for, and of course, if you're successful in your attack, that's taking away your cards from somebody else and put, they're putting them in the discard, and once you're done, it's your life. Hmm. So the game itself, the cards are what drive the action of the game. Right. However, you're using your miniatures to move around the board to determine location. To get in location. position to use those, those cards. There's also a fun mechanic where before you actually do your moving or attacking, you determine, you and the other players determine whether or not you're going to move or attack. So there's a moment where you place it down, and at that point you kind of know what your opponent is looking to do. Okay. And then when you choose, if you know they're going to attack and you know that you're not in a good position to do so, you can take one of the attack and forego that attack, which limits their ability to attack you. Gotcha. So that is the basics of the main game. Um, and as you can see, we have some of the characters and then one of the miniatures from a expansion edition where you can replace some of the tabs with, uh, with the actual miniatures. So we have a couple of those, actually, that are now available. All right, so expansions. Okay. Expansions. So we have two expansions that just came out, and they add two more Kami Masters and an additional Kami so that you can expand the game. So the original game, it's two to four players, now you have you can you can build up so that there are multiple players that can play. Aha. Uh -huh. And then each of the characters have their own special abilities. So in the base game you have like Akiko who was the hammer. She she hits people with fire. She's okay. pretty straightforward. She's for a yep. new player it's great to play. Yep. These characters have a lot more um, subtlety to them so that for example, you have the character who is planting seeds and initially he just plants he plants little seeds you know yeah, he's fine. friendly he's a How farmer a type problem? he's jolly he's happy perfectly fine and then he makes them grow very rapidly and shred you to bits with oh. the giant vines it's it's a very mm. visceral but he's very cheerful about <laughs> it good he's helping the environment <laughs> yeah he's a very he's very green pro, yes he's very very green very very green so it's a lot, you know, it's a much more patient waiting kind of character. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be somebody who's more like uh, our original fire girl, you go with, with, with our, our ice girl, who is also extremely powerful, and she's going to be hitting you with a, with a lot of pain. Okay. With a whole lot of pain. So those are, those are our two new expansions for Yashima. Uh, okay, so the base game available now. Absolutely. Uh, when, when will we see these expansions? The expansions are available uh, very, very, very soon. Oh, good. Very soon. Very, maybe by the time you're seeing this. <laughs> maybe very, maybe very, you should ask soon. that and I can answer it right afterwards where yeah. I can give you a specific date. I'm Quite just saying. possibly. Uh, all right, so let's move from the big box to a very little box. Yes. Uh, Ninja Dice has been very popular in my house, I know. My, my kids like, uh, like chucking the dice around. Fantastic. And, um, and you've got something new for Ninja Dice as well. So here's our little adorable package. Isn't it? And even a nice little display box. And uh, last year, I want to say, was that the location cards last year? That's right. Um, that added a little bit of extra stuff. But we also have a nice little pink box. We do. So what's in here? So the original game, you, you, know, you, you roll your house and figure out what you're getting, and then the person whose turn it was gets to roll their dice and figure out how they're going to break into the house. Mm -hmm. um, and then all the additional players got to roll as well. They're sort of attack dice, which can mess with what the active player is doing. Right, and then it's not just where it, it's also where it lands, so you right. have the, on that, uh, on across the line, one die on this side is affected. Well, what we wanted to do was add the next layer. So this is, you know, it's a simple, it's fast, it's easy to play. Mm -hmm. There's still a little bit to it where you're thinking about strategy, but we wanted it to be add that extra layer. 
So the people have played it. They've played it. They know how to play it. They've, they've, it's right. It's, it is what it is. So we wanted to add the next layer, and that is to have specialists. So you pick. I'm just oh, we're gonna. I'm gonna opening the box we are. right now. We're opening the box. You pick your specialist. So if you want to be uh, more of a more of a, a spy type, okay. you would pick the trickster. Um, if you want to be more of an assassin, you would pick the assassin. Now, do these replace the standard player Correct. dice from the, the base and game? And you would keep your color. So you are now that specialist. Okay. So you're still going to use, you know, you're still going to break into the house, but you are, I am also the assassin. So my goal is much more specific, and then you have the cards that tell you what your role is. Okay. So you are, your fighting style becomes unique. It hmm. becomes stylized. Interesting. In the game. So how soon do we see this, uh, this mini expand? And what's it called? Trickster? Or that's uh, one it's of the, called that's one Kage of the... Masters. Kage Masters. Yes. And we'll see it... That is available. Now. It is. We'll see it now. We'll see it right now. Now. <laughs> Julie, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you for watching.